Hey everybody, dgooden 24 here, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to another video I didn't actually want to make. <laughs> um, so if you've been watching my NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus career mode on the Switch, you would know where I'm about to go with this. If you haven't, there's a playlist, you can check it out, or I mean, you get to watch this video too. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's get into it. Um, I know I have a review out on this game. And I stand by everything I said. It's just the more I play this game and the more hours I put in, the more the cracks are starting to show. The more the foundation looks a little shaky. Um, let me explain why. So, on track though, I mean, the game's fine. I mean, it's, it's about what you would expect. It plays like a NASCAR Heat game. But, I mean, yeah, there are some frame rate hitches and it's a little bit harder to play with the triggers that aren't um, analog or whatever I mean it's just on or off on the throttle or brake but once you get past that it's fine um, but the things I'm noticing are much worse much bigger bugs so I'm on my second season of the career mode and so things really started going off the rails in the off season I guess and so I got second in the championship. I had an offer to drive for MBM. And after that, uh, Colleg Racing offered me a ride to run their one of their cars. So I had two contract offers for Xfinity. And so I, of course, selected Colleg, the, the five-star car, competitive car. No disrespect to MBM, but they're a three-star car in the game, and they're terrible. I'm struggling to just run top 35 but anyway so I select them I chose to take over the 10 car and the game crashes so I'm like okay maybe that was just a, you know one time glitch or whatever so I try it again and it crashes I try to select a different car like the 11 and it crashes I choose to make my own custom car instead it crashes so essentially I'm left to start my own team or run the 13 for MBM and I chose to run the 13 and so I essentially was forced into choosing a team I didn't want to because the game was broken and I don't know if this is going to be a thing every off season or not where you can only really select one thing or if a one particular team you choose isn't going to work but I, I don't know I haven't made it that far Frankly, this shouldn't have been happening to begin with. When I played this game, when I played any of the other NASCAR Heat games with this contract thing, it never happened. I played NASCAR Heat 5 all the way to Cup, and I never had this problem. It's it's frustrating. Um, and then, so regardless of that, we get to the season. We're, we're ready. I get to Daytona, and I notice that I don't have a, a setup bar. Or an option to select a setup. And I was really confused. So I was like, okay. Maybe since it's Daytona or something. You know, it, it, it's it's not there. Maybe, maybe it's just, you know, it glitched out for the first race or something. But it's been there for every race since. I can't, or it hasn't been there for every race since. It's It, it doesn't exist. I can't change my setup. I can't do a custom setup. I can't do one of their preset setups. I'm stuck with whatever the base setup is that you load into the track with. And that's terrible. Because their setups, for whatever reason, in, in the other games, the setup slider is in the in the middle. It's between tight and loose. So it's, you know, at least marginal and, and you know you can go either way. But this one is just full on tight, so you can't really do much of anything. So it's kind of frustrating in that regard. So and when it comes to that I, I, I'm just going to run the whole season without having a setup. And, I mean, even in a five-star car, that could be detrimental. It's inexplicable, it's dumb, and it's a very big oversight. I didn't have that issue in trucks, not one time. So I don't know if it's just the Xfinity series or if this is a small bug that just needs a patch. I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything on patches for this NASCAR heat game, and I, I don't really expect there to be to be honest I uh, thought it was a pretty cut and dry port but obviously there's a few things that need to be fixed um, apparently 2021 
the 2021 season. It you don't have pit crews, but you do in the 2020 season. And when you select 2020 or 2021, you're split up into two different online sections. So nobody could be online in the 2021 server, but you in the 2020 server, you could have you know 10 people playing or whatever, vice versa. And there wouldn't be such a problem if there was enough people playing the game, but there's not. And it takes minutes to, to back out and select the next uh, or the other season and, and go back through into the online menu. It literally takes minutes because this game <laughs> takes so long to load. It's frustrating. And frankly, I don't... I just don't trust them anymore to make to make these fixes or to, to get this right. No, we all did it at the beginning, but now we're at the point where, I mean, between this and NASCAR Ignition, it's kind of frustrating. I still like the game. I just want these basic things fixed. And, you know, I at least expected the NASCAR heat port to work correctly. Um, I just, I don't know. Uh, it's it's super frustrating that, you know, that pe I'm sure people have had worse bugs than this. No, I'm just one person. I've only experienced a certain amount. I put like 10 or so hours into the game, and I know what I've dealt with is frustrating enough. So if we get to the point in Cup where I can't pick a team that I want because it breaks, then I don't even feel like I want to play. <laughs> you know, I'm one of the few people that plays this game on YouTube, and it's it's just like, why bother if the game's going to break? I mean, at least you, the cautions work and everything, but it's stuff like that that drives me nuts. So... I just don't know. Motorsport games has got to get this fixed, obviously. We've got years left of this deal. <laughs> I want more NASCAR games on Switch for sure. I want an updated Xfinity roster and truck roster. and I want a 2022 game, but if we can't get the basics right, then what are we doing? It's just like NASCAR Ignition. So. Anyway, that's all I got. Kind of a short video. I just kind of wanted to, to vent in, in about about this. It, it's frustrating that... that we have to go through with this and at the end of the day I'll survive but you know there are young kids that probably are out there that don't understand and are very frustrated and I feel bad for them because it could turn them off to the game and NASCAR and stuff in general like when I was younger I had NASCAR Thunder and I loved those games that was great and it definitely helped me become more of a fan than I am right now so I, or you know I'm more of a fan than I was so they, it's just, games are very important to kids. That's how you get them interested and keep them around. But anyway, I hope they get this figured out. Um, we'll be back later with more content. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.